Vagabond, vagabond. Okay, 
Okay. 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 Check one, two. A special good morning to you, Madam Principal, staff, and students of St. Benedict's College. We are here this, uh, this morning to make a presentation to your school as past students of class of 84. We're running a little bit late for time, so with no further ado, we will introduce our first speaker, a past student of St. Benedict's College in the year 1984, a police officer. Mr. Barry Ross. Hi. Hi, good morning everyone. Well, it's indeed a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here this morning to, you know, to address uh, the school that I have uh, been a part of uh, for approximately six years. I remember the last time I was in this building, it, uh, it was for my final exam. <laughs> I'm back here today to just address uh, the students that are here now, which are, I, I, I think we have uh, both uh, male and female students now, if I'm not, no, we don't have the female, okay, 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 <laughs> correct me. Well, good morning again. Uh, this morning, 79. And, uh, well, as it was said, we are the class of 1984. So our official time that we, we graduated from St. Benedict's College was in 1984. Now, we really have to thank uh, our very good friend and uh, fellow student, uh, Diane Ann Janky, for this opportunity to come together to give back onto the school because uh, we have not seen each other for approximately 13 years. And uh, when I received the call, you know, inviting me to come together, I was very surprised. But I was, uh, I was enlightened nevertheless. I was, you know, very pleased because uh, having not seen these guys for about 13 years, uh, you know, it was something uh, very exciting for me. Now you guys uh, are here now. And you all are enjoying uh, the school and the school life and so. But after you all leave here, some of you all might not see each other again for quite a number of years. Now, this is a time that you are supposed to cherish. You know, you're supposed to work hard. You're supposed to study. You're supposed to be disciplined. That is what is expected of each and every one of us. But uh, at the end of it all, you're also supposed to have some fun. Okay? So don't, uh, of course, uh, don't make it all fun. <laughs> All right, because you have to study. But then again, make sure and get some fun in there because uh, after you leave here, you cannot come back to this stage, okay? I see your, 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 your um, slogan above says, the roots of success are formed through hard work. 
but grow stronger through dedication. And we all have to be dedicated. You know, it's important for us to be dedicated in what we do. So I want to encourage you to be dedicated at your work because that is what is going to make a difference when you go out into the world. Now, we have a group here. Nobody is interested in what uh, we might have ended up being after we left school. But uh, after, you know, chatting with, with these guys in there, after 30 years, I understand we have uh, professors, lecturers, we have uh, members of the judiciary, we have police officers like myself, uh, we have, uh, say again, P prison, prison officers, you know, we have uh, practically we have students practically involved in every scheme of society. We have farmers, we have family men, we have pastors, you know, we have, uh, we have students who have uh, gone into almost every different field that society allows today. Now, I want to say this to encourage you because you may not have yet decided where you want to go out in life, but uh, I want you to know that uh, whatever it is, whatever it is, um, you have uh, the best support here at St. Benedict's College. I think that is a round of applause. <laughs> now, of course, we wouldn't, we, we wouldn't know the, the, the batch of students that are here at this time. In fact, uh, most of the teachers uh, have, have changed. I, I recognize a few <laughs> of the teachers, of course, Ms. Ms. Muraj, <laughs> Ms. Allard <laughs> at the back, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, apart from that, uh, a lot of this, this, the teachers has, has changed over the years. But I know, despite uh, the transformation, that you all still have a, a good batch of teachers here because they have uh, a, a very good uh, motto i think our motto is still the same nihil omnino christo christ above all okay and what's that is our motto you cannot you cannot in any way be misguided okay so i want to hand us over now to my friend good friend and fellow past student uh, david oliver and he will address you at this time thanks Good morning to the principal and students. Um, I, I just basically want to tell you about wasting time. I can, and we can tell you about wasting time because we wasted a lot of time in school. We wasted a lot of time. I remember once my principal told me, he said, Olivera, you're going nowhere and you're going there very fast. And, and, and that was my life. I, I, I wasted. Miss Mirage can tell you, I, I give a lot of trouble. I do think you all could give the kind of trouble that we give. But one thing, we were respectful to teachers. We would give trouble behind their back, but if Miss talk, talk to me, we would listen. What I want to implore you guys is don't waste your time. You can't get back time. You could get back money, you could lose money, you could get back, you bounce your car, you could get back your car, but you can't get back time. That's one thing you can't get back. And as young men, and this, this is the future of the country standing right here. Don't waste time, young men. Don't waste your time. You're in here for a purpose. You're in here to have fun. You're in here, but don't waste time. And I want you to be proud of your school. Um, in, in our days, we, we were proud of our school. And I suppose you are just like us. Be proud of wearing uniform. Wear it with pride. Wear your uniform out shirt, out your pants. Wear your uniform with pride. Because it, it, you see, a uniform represents you. This gentleman here is a prison officer. He's some kind of officer. You know how you recognize him? By his uniform. And that's how people will recognize you, you know, by a uniform. And a uniform is not just your, your, what you wear, or you know, that brown pants and that, you know. It's how you live your life. And I want to employ you to wear a good uniform. I want to employ you to do the right things as young men. I mean, we, we live in a society where we see all kind of back and all happening. People doing all kind of craziness. And they're wearing bad uniforms. And what I want to employ every one of you guys is to wear a good uniform. Wear a uniform with pride, be respectful to teachers, and again, most of all, do waste your time, gentlemen. All right? And I will hand you over to the, the senator, <laughs> the councillor, Mr. Lal. Now, I have to be very particular with words. My, you see the media is here and Mr. my good friend Mr. Ivan Tulsi is here from CNC3. 
So again, I want to say good morning, Madam Principal, staff, and students. Firstly, let me apologize on behalf of class of 84 for not making this presentation earlier. But I am pretty sure we will be the first to do so. And I would like other classes to do the same. Today brings back memories of some 30 years ago. Where we were, where you all are standing, that's the morning assembly. And our principal would open with a prayer. And as David said, close with a lecture. We will always remember his famous phrase, and students who are present here today, this phrase is true. If you fail to prepare, then prepare to fail. That was the phrase of the late Mr. Edwin Keynes. If you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. And as schoolboys, we never took heed of what he was trying to impart onto us. But as we left this faithful college, we got to realize the famous phrase was true. And 30 years after, it's still true. Madam Principal, staff, and students, as I stand here on behalf of my classmates of 79 to 84, I am proud to say that we were privileged to have two excellent principals, namely Mr. Edwin Keynes and Mr. Declan Singh, a team of dedicated teachers who will always remind us of our purpose in school. And I must say that they were always there for us. I personally will also remember the name Jan Stedman. He's a popular guy. He was an ex-national footballer. He was, he was like one of us, mixing like a schoolboy with us, but don't make a mistake and be rude or disrespectful to any one of our teachers or staff members. Then you will see a difference in personality. All of our teachers played a very significant role in our success in our lives thus far. For those who are alive, we say thank you. You know, as I'm talking about teachers, I see Mrs. Mohammed here, but I'm Mr. Regis, supposed to be here. I, I ain't seen as yet. I don't know what keep him back. <coughs> Madam Principal, for those who are alive, sorry, I say thank you. For those who have passed on, may you God, may you rest in peace. And we thank you for the knowledge that you have imparted on us. Madam Principal, I would like to take this opportunity to commend you and your staff for the level of discipline your students have shown out of school. Keep it up. In closing, I would like to say that there is a place in our hearts for this excellent school known as St. Benedict's College. And I can assure you that the class of 84 will be making more contribution towards the development of our school in the coming years. With these few words, Madam Principal, the class of 84 say congratulations on your achievement and continue to fly the flag high of our college. And with God's blessing, I know it will continue to fly high. Our purpose here this morning is to make a presentation on behalf of the class of 84 to the principal of the school, Madam Principal, we hope that our contribution will go a long way in the development of the college. Having said this, we will now make the presentation to the school in the form of a check for $30,000. What the class of 84 did is 30 years since we left school, so we decided to sum up a total of $30,000 to give back to the school. So in closing, I must say thanks to all my schoolmates, present and not present here today because we have a majority of them abroad. Principal, 
staff, students, and I always leave thanking the electronic and written media for last. I say thank you very much for taking the time off to be here with us today. So again, students, as you know, as students and young men who will grow into adult, know your purpose. If you don't know it, then you're in trouble. Eh? Know your purpose in school, and the secret to success is discipline. Take that, put it behind your head, study it like an exam, and write it every day. The secret for progress is discipline. Thank you very much, and may God bless you all. Excuse, would like to get a group shot with the check again, please? A group shot with the check. Thank you very much. students of the college, I wish to thank most graciously this class of 84 for their very generous contribution, timely contribution to our college. I thank you. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm asked what I plan to do with the check. Well, we have so much really to do in the college. Currently, we are housed in the auditorium because we have eight classrooms out of commission. 
So we sincerely hope that in some little way, this can help towards making um, a transitionary period for us a bit more comfortable. So we intend to use it definitely for the continuing provision of quality education to our students. Thank you. discipline students out there and we want to assist the school in growing in making St. Benedict's one of the best schools in the region in South Trinidad and if by us the class of 84 could start the process of making the school be portrayed as one of the best schools that is what we want to do so to the, all the other classes that would have graduated from Benedict's this is a challenge to you all come and give back to the school our role was 30,000 because it's 30 years. And everybody, if everybody contributed in some small way, I'm sure this school could grow from strength to strength. 
Thank you very much. Well, I don't think we, uh, I don't think we, we didn't invite, the, it was just us giving back to the school. So we didn't invite anybody else because we just wanted to give back to the school. So I mean, it, it's unfortunate they didn't come because they probably didn't get the invitation. But we're giving back to the school. Well, well, you see, that that uh, that part of it, we we we, we, are, we are concerned we about that part. So we concerned about eighty four giving back to the school because this is what the school has done for us. So we giving back part of what we done. The government has to do their part, but we, we just do our, our part. part. Uh, Janky, Diana Janky. What we are doing is a start, and other schools can do it. This is just once off for this school, and what we want to continue. Other students from other schools can do the same, and this is not limited to Benedict's. Our class of 84 is interested in Benedict's. So our class is giving back to Benedict's. Other schools and other children can continue the same to propagate their school. So for us, class of 84, this is where our lives are started. So this is what we're about, where our lives started and we take it forward. You see, the, the, the thing is, Ivan, we don't even know what the government is doing for the school, but I can tell you what we're doing for the school. Yeah. So what is important for us is what we're doing, not what, what happened yeah, yeah. outside. This is what we, we're doing. This is what we're doing. If the government wants to give, and that's it. So, so that's about it. Thank you all very much. Thank you. I know you. I tell you, you come with us. I tell all.